working on uh, the cell remodeling in terms of shape. And so, of course, the actin cytoskeleton plays an important role in this respect, as well as membrane traffic. And cytoskeleton, membrane remodeling, membrane trafficking are heavy connected, heavily connected topics, uh, which uh, many, many uh, molecular players for their regulation. So we are trying to find new proteins involved in this, in this topic. Uh, through a variety of approaches, it can be bioinformatics or biochemistry. And uh, then when we find new proteins, we have to understand their mechanism of action. And for their mechanism, we want to have a view of what are the different proteins they talk to. Uh, the yeast to hybrid would provide a better, I mean, a very sensitive assay, perhaps to pick up uh, signaling intermediates in uh, the transduction pathways we were studying. I was not really expecting such a strong interaction in the beginning. I just wanted a service being provided to me. So I just sent my cDNA and Ibrigenics performed the cloning in the bait vectors and performed the yeast to hybrid screen and just sent the result. But what I must say is that uh, it was a very good surprise to see that there was a follow-up. We had identified a partner which was also identified by another customer and they offered to, to, to put us into contact, and so that can be the basis of useful collaborations. But of course, with always all the confidentiality that one might expect from such a service. So the partners Ibrigenics found through the yeast to hybrid screens were real partners. So we didn't spend a lot of time trying to chase a very faint interaction. These were solid partners which were easily validated biochemically afterwards. In most cases, it really put us on the tracks of, of finding a very important regulation for our proteins of interest. So this is certainly a service I can recommend. Ibrigenics is at the is that the, the basis forms the ground of a new publication. But uh, of course, uh, uh, the path is still long afterwards. This is absolutely normal. This is always a long path from protein-protein interaction to, to the publication to really understand when this protein-protein interaction is critical.